Okay, and we're back. So, we just got the extra loot, or I shouldn't say loot. We got all these weapons that we recovered from the old XCOM 1 ship. Uh, we're going to go investigate those supplies that we've been tipped off to by the resistance. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. So... Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Atom Project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Okay. So we get to rescue an engineer on this one. We've got five days to infiltrate. The Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. That means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. There we go. We will infiltrate. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. There we go. So, let's see. We... We have plenty of time to actually do this. So, I'm gonna add an extra soldier to it. Uh... I guess we have a soldier there. And we've still got time. But, I think all of our soldiers... Oh, we have one soldier left. Okay. And just to be safe, I'm going to give somebody else a med kit. Uh, I guess I could do one of the grenadiers, because they have multiple grenade slots. Okay, so they're going to infiltrate. They'll have like seven hours left to increase the infiltration counter. But it's probably better to have an extra soldier there than extra infiltration. Okay, so let's go get that supply drop. Every month of in-game time, you can see the clock at the bottom right. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the skull jack whenever you give the word. Oh, I guess we're being interrupted. Welcome to the proving grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts. Especially when it comes to weapons development. Okay. So, every month of in-game time, there's a supply drop based on how well you do that month. I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. So now we have the ability to research psionics. That's nice. Of genetic engineering and of the regardless of the risks. I'm going to not research anything right now because. Oh, actually, the data pad decryption we could do. But I think I'll actually wait on that. I'm not going to put anything in science right now. I've seen members because of the, the black market, I believe, has a scientist, and that will be enough to get the. Okay, here we go. Staff at Resistance headquarters. So the black market, I think, has a scientist. Yep, we have a scientist. Yep, we will use our supplies on that. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we need another engineer right now. We could use another soldier, but... 21 supplies might be too much right now. We'll leave... Eh, let's get the soldier. Market is open. Let's get the soldier. Okay. Okay, so we'll go back to the cave where those supplies were. And we have to remember we need a science project. Commander, the lab is currently idle. So let's wasting valuable time in the advent put the officer. appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Uh, 
And we can view soldiers. I believe that's the new soldier that we got. Yep. We can promote that soldier. So let's give them roust. Just because I'm not sure how useful it is and we could try it out. Okay. Here we go. So over here, we also have freeing uh, people who were captured. But this one has an expiration of 17 hours, so I don't think there's any way we could get that done. We'd have to send like one soldier. So I'm gonna ignore that one. Strategic resource located. Okay. Let's see. Enemy readiness normal. Yeah, let's wait on that one. And I don't have any Setting ability to get another haven right now. So I guess we'll just wait. Okay, so that's 100%. I'm going to wait. Now we must do it. So here we go. Here's today's mission. This is a smash and grab mission, which means that there's going to be certain places marked on the map and we have to go to those places and each soldier can carry one crate's contents. And if that soldier gets killed, then either somebody else has to grab those contents or we just don't get it. And also we lose the soldier. And there's no time limit on this one, but there is a time limit before enemy soldiers will be added to the map. So we want to try to finish it near the end of that window, just because that gives us the most time without adding enemy soldiers. Operation Dark Knight. This doesn't look like a very dark night. Oh, maybe. No, it's not. It's daytime. So it's showing us on the map where the supplies are, but we haven't uncovered that yet. Six supplies, it looks like. Yep, six supplies. And we have six soldiers. So everybody has to make it out of here. If they're unconscious, they can't carry something, so... That would stop us from bringing the maximum amount of rewards home. Okay. Guess we'll just keep moving people. Location confirmed. I could risk this, but I'm not going to. Got it. Actually, now that I see that there's no enemies here, I'm going to risk it. Solid copy. Because that's probably either going to show me that enemies... Oh, actually, I'm not concealed. This character is concealed, because Boomzilla is a shinobi. So he can go over there. Uh... Got it covered. Oh, I've got two shinobis here. Pie designer. Rolling out. Okay, the alien activity. So there's the aliens. They're coming in from that side, so they're definitely going to see us. Okay. So I could try using Haywire Protocol, which would give me control of that robot. But I don't think this character's hacking skill is good enough for that to be worth attempting. Uh, we've got our two shinobis over here. I don't think either of them... Oh, you could move that far. Would it be worth it? I guess. Oh. Boomzilla's flanked, so let's use that ability before they see us. They definitely see us now, because we've moved out of the flanked position, and moving while flanked is the same as them flanking you, basically. 
I guess they were far enough away when they flanked us that it didn't matter before. Okay, so now Shinobi can't attack because that enemy's too far away, but I can move them here. And let's overwatch just because that's probably the safest thing to do. Uh, let's see. Oh, the drone is flanking him, that's why. Drones don't care about flanking. Let's do run and gun. And let's be really crazy and just put our soldier here. Because that is still in cover from the drone. And we can kill the off- or the- what is it? The trooper we just killed. Target neutralized. Okay. So let's see, can we hit the drone? Probably, let's try. Well, that did two damage, but does three health. Off the armor. So let's try one last time to knock that drone out. Otherwise, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal because Missed. the worst it can do is stun somebody or deal like two damage and they've got two armor anyway. I could move over. We could try that. Sure, let's try it. I'm on it. Maybe this is worth it. Maybe it'll hit did hit. Okay. So we did kill the drone. We avoided having somebody stunned or lightly damaged. And, oh, we, had, we even had an extra person left. Okay. So we're gonna start moving in. The fact that that turn for the aliens ended so quickly means to me that there probably aren't any aliens that are near us right now. There might still be some aliens left on the map, but they're going to be revealed later on. So I can feel more comfortable moving people long distance. Got it. Oh. Let's see. Admin forces on There's the some aliens. So they're all in that room. I've had trouble with that style of room on previous playthroughs because it's so chaotic in there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put Boomzilla in full cover. Because Boomzilla benefits more from being close to the enemy than from being in a good firing position. And let's move this character. Uh, this Jumu also benefits a lot from being close to the enemy compared to being able to shoot the enemy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna overwatch, and here goes the alien activity. Mind control, maybe? No, nope, that's just a panic, okay. I'm glad we haven't had any mind controls. Overwatch and a miss, okay. And that was a hit. And that went through the armor and did two extra damage on top of the armor. And that's also an overwatch because that was a sentry. So let's see. We could try hitting the trooper or the sentry, or the sectoid. If we hit the sectoid, we don't really have any place to be in cover. If we hit this trooper, we also don't have any way to be in cover. Well, actually, that is kind of like cover, but I don't want to put my soldier that close. Actually, this one could be good. Yeah, let's try that. So the overwatch is gonna go off, but hopefully, it won't hit. Miss, and one damage, but that's to the shield. 
and that's a kill. Okay. Let's see, can my other shinobi, Boomzilla, deal with this damage? Oh, did I already move Boomzilla this turn? Oh no, he's panicking. Okay. Boomzilla is panicking. So let's bring our assault character very close and just shoot the alien in the face. That's how it works. And because they're standing outside a window, they still have half cover. Okay, I'm gonna move. Let's see, that is a grenadier, I think. Okay. This character took some damage. They do have a med kit, but the med kit heals four, and I don't want to waste it if they're gonna get hit again this mission. I'm just gonna put them here. And then I think I'll just overwatch with them. Let's see, that door lets me go here, but that's not going to work. Or at least it won't work to my advantage. I could go to the supplies over here. I could also run all the way through, or over the facility, I guess. I wonder if I could run through and get there. Probably not. Let's just run over. Because this will put me on the other side. So now I can hopefully be able to flank the enemies easier. Uh, let's see. There are no soldiers right here. So I can move somebody over here. Okay, there goes the sectoid. I think it's going to reanimate a corpse. Yep, there it goes. That is not very much of an issue for me, because I still have a person with a shotgun aiming directly at that corpse. Oh, so full cover doesn't always work. Okay, Boomzilla is no longer panicking. Let's see, we could hit the trooper, and uh, that's all we could hit. Okay, I think we'll, we'll do it. Now, we're not in cover anymore, but I think it was worth it. Okay, let's see. Can we hit the sectoid with this? Yes. We've got an 87% chance of hitting. Well, I guess I'll try. This also gives us the advantage of a bunch of doors being opened. So now we have a better line of sight. And that, that did kill the sectoid. And that should kill the zombie the sectoid made. I've located target assets. Target asset located. Yep, that did kill the zombie. So now we can grab some loot. Because I think we've killed all the aliens, or at least all the aliens we know of. So I'm just gonna keep moving people as close as I can to the items. Oh, there might be some on the roof, but I don't know. We'll risk it. I guess if the aliens were on the roof, they probably would have come to attack us by now. Let's see, where's more supplies? There's supplies. There's supplies over there. I'm going to move this way. Uh, we can just walk through that door and get the supplies. There we go. Uh, open the chest. There we go. So we got supplies. We don't know what they are yet. I have the asset. They could pretty much be anything. The evacuation zone is over here. So I'm just going to move this character a little closer to it. Okay. Uh, where's another supply cache? There's one, but we've already got somebody there. There's one on the roof. There's one here, but that's probably going to be one of these two people. So let's bring this character over here. Will do. Okay, so now I'm not going to risk this. I'm going to go through slowly. So right there, there's something with health, but I believe that is a tank that could be exploded by shooting it. And there aren't any aliens in here as far as I can see. We can open the chest. And now we can just run out. 
uh, let's run to here. Okay, who else do we have? We got supplies there, we got supplies here. Uh, let's see, what else? Got supplies here we can get. We're gonna have a few wounded soldiers, but it won't be too bad. Because nobody was knocked unconscious or bleeding out or killed. Okay. Keep moving people out. Where is the last supply cache? There's two of them in there. Were there only five? Or did we bring seven soldiers and I forgot? I guess we brought seven soldiers. Okay, I'll keep moving this soldier close to the evacuation zone. We've got 11 turns before any more aliens show up, assuming we killed all of them already. Let's see, that's two soldiers. Yep, we've got all our supplies we can get. There's 11 turns left before any aliens show up, so we're fine. Okay, we'll grab those supplies. I believe that is all the supplies now. So now we just need to evacuate. That was a very clean mission. Will do. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to wait to evacuate everybody at once. I'm just going to go ahead and evacuate. I still, I'll still use cover because just in case some aliens show up while I'm evacuating. Yeah, with the alien activity turns going that quickly, there's probably no aliens left. Until the reinforcements, but we're not going to be here long enough for that to be an issue. We've got one turn left and then everybody's out. Here we go. We did it. I think I'll go with Blade Master just because I want the sword to be the main thing for my shinobi characters. Uh, 
revival protocol again, because revival is so much stronger than everything else they can do. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go for one more point of damage with guns. And sapper, definitely. Because why would I shoot explosives if I didn't want to destroy everything? And lightning reflexes, because then you can just run past an enemy and they don't they don't get a chance to shoot you. Okay, we got 109 supplies. That's pretty good. Now we can probably build a facility. We can build the Advanced Warfare Center. Advanced Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our... And we can't build a power relay yet because we don't have enough... Uh, let's see... Oh, the exposed power coils are both on the bottom level, so I guess we're just waiting for more supplies. Okay. We're going to finish some training just by running the clock down a little. Let's see, where could we go? I don't think we have anywhere to go. Let's try the black market. Nope, we don't really have anything. We could sell things, but I don't know. I don't want to sell Illyrium cores or Intel. Cores for the US precinct. Okay, we finished the specialist training for this character. And we should finish the other one immediately. There we go. Oh, we have unused Illyrium cores from that mission, I think. At least I think that's what we have them from. Oh, okay. So it's a little different here. I guess we don't have any of the experimental upgrade items that I'm used to having in XCOM 2. Okay, here we go. New guerrilla operation. Uh, we got three days to recover an item Sure, let's try it. We definitely cannot bring this many people. Okay. Let's remove some people from this squad. Uh, this one, I think, is... Yeah, the, the specialists. They need a med kit. Uh, we're still over the limit. Let's keep removing people. That's under the limit. I guess we'll go with four people. We don't need this many... <coughs> we don't need this many healing items. So let's see, what was that? What did I take off of them? They don't have a flashbang... Oh no, not a smoke grenade. Flashbang grenade. And they don't have... Well, they can keep the med kit, just in case. So we'll start infiltrating. Oh, we got more guerrilla operations. Okay. We get resistance personnel, and I think... We're also going to get rebels, which means that we get more soldiers. Okay, so this is eight days expiration. That means we're going to send a full squad. So let's send as many people as we can. I don't even care if they're in other squads. Let's see, we're currently up to five days, we can send more people. Uh, let's send Jerry. And then we'll give Jerry a med kit. Okay, so we'll still come way under time. And we've got all these people. Let's also send some... Uh, 
give them some weapon upgrades. Let's see, who is the highest tier? Well, we probably want the specialist to have... Let's see, Lance Corporal, Lance Corporal. They're all Lance Corporals. Okay. We'll start in the middle. Okay, emergency life support. That's probably very useful for a... Hmm. Actually, no, that's not very useful, because they're the one who would need to be rescued in that case. I don't know. Uh, I'll give a speed bonus by one. That's not really worth it, but who would be better with that? Do we have a shinobi? We do have a shinobi. Let's give the shinobi a speed bonus. Because if the shinobi can move one extra turn, or one extra tile, I should say, then they're going to have a much easier time moving in to get somebody killed with a knife. Okay. Increase non-reaction aim, grant steady weapon. Oh, it's an ability. This is bonus reaction fire. Uh, do we have any rangers? No, we don't have any rangers. I'm gonna keep that for rangers. For the gunner, we could go with the... Uh, uh, advanced scope. Because that's probably useful. And I don't think we're going to use that other one unless we have a sniper. So let's go. Okay. So we had somebody recover from their wounds. We're gonna have the Advanced Warfare Center soon. Uh, did we- oh, we finished that one getting to 100%. That gives us an Engineer when we do it, but the enemies are still normal readiness. So I'm gonna keep going. Grill Operation. Oh, we get Blakey Rat from that one. Huh. And that's eight days. Huh. I really want Blakey Rat. Well, we can send in some people. Will this be enough? I don't know. Let's see. Do we have anyone else we could send? We have one day lightly wounded. I think it's going to be better to wait that one day. So let's wait one day for that person to... Oh. Well, I guess I'll see you next time on this very screen. <laughs>